Hi guys, welcome to Paradox Cycle GF channel. In this video, we will be applying a new, a new powerful strategy. It's called the Markov chain distribution strategy. Markov chain strategy is a very dynamic strategy. So, so far, we have uh, a strategy or the first strategy that we created based on Bayesian decision making. That's basically is called a basic strategy in Bakura. So that's the basic strategy is based on a dominant pattern. And then you stick to the dominant pattern the entire game until you finish with a um, smart exit with a trading stop and with a um, variation bet, or we call it VB bet. So VB bet is part of the, uh, the first strategy, which is the Bayesian strategy, and which is the dominant strategy uh, game. The second strategy we explain about the, the Baccarat attack strategy it's more or less same thing as dominant Bayesian strategy, but you know you place the place more emphasis on the beginning of the game with high bets without VB bets. Uh, once you get the the, the first two uh, high probability bets, you shift your focus towards um, smart exit with uh, trading stop. Okay, so that was the second exit called the Baccarat attack strategy. Now, the third one currently that I've been playing with is called the Markov uh, chain dynamic strategy. So we will play this and see how it goes, and then we will explain the math of this later on, okay, in a separate video as a tutorial. So this video, so far, we did not create any math behind it. We're going to be jumping straight away into the game, and I'll show you how this game is played. Uh, and then we will talk about the math in a separate video. Okay, so the first thing in this um, Markov chain, it's the same thing as our previous strategy. You need to identify the input pattern, which is the, the main pattern, the, you know, the first pattern. The first pattern, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, is, um, again, it's, um, it's not a good pattern. I don't like it. It's not really twos. I would say probably twos. Right, so it's probably twos, okay? So I think it's twos, but with a lot of anomalies. And we could expect uh, a lot of error in this shoe as the shoe progresses. Um, we will try it anyway. And then let's see if this system can protect our bankroll or not. So part of this uh, Markov chain distribution strategy is that first you need to identify you know the first pattern and then that becomes your dominant pattern okay once the dominant pattern changes you need to confirm that the dominant pattern changed into another pattern but not any pattern meaning that there are rules to the change and the uh, or there are rules for transition from one pattern to another pattern the, the rules are if the first pattern is N1 pattern, um, the N1 pattern usually, uh, it changes to N2 pattern with a probability of 40%. So basically, N1 uh, should change to N2. And you should not bet on the change in the pattern unless you see a confirmation of N2 taking place. In the case of N2, it changes to N1. Uh, as a high probability. And N3 changes to N2 as a high probability. And then N4 plus changes to N3 as a high probability. So those are the rules of the changes or rules of transition from one pattern to another pattern, okay? Since we are now in this game, we are playing N2, we are watching for a confirmation, a change towards N1, which is choppy session. Unless we see a confirmation of choppy session, we will remain betting on N2, which is the opposite of the second outcome of two dropdowns. That's the rule, okay? So we will play it and see how it goes. So, so far, we haven't really placed any bet. We just have identified the pattern, which is N2, and uh, the change in the pattern is N1. So we will be looking for 
uh, a confirmation on N1 as a process of transition. Okay, now here we go. It's a player. So currently, we are still on the dominant pattern, which is N2. I mean, unless we see a confirmation on N1, we will be resuming the bet on N2. The, uh, the good thing about this strategy is very dynamic, and it's very fast, and it's very high frequency. But also, as a money management rule, since it's high frequency, you need to stick to um, minimum bets, which is one unit. Okay? Uh, this is not uh, five, a <laughs> five-unit bet strategy, since it's a high-frequency strategy. I mean, in terms of Baccarat attack strategy, it was low frequency, therefore high uh, unit sizes. Um, the higher the frequency of the bets, the lower should be your bet sizes. Okay, now that's a confirmation that the, uh, the pattern has changed from N2 to N1. So we will go ahead and place bet on the banker. The banker is the next bet. Anchor is the next bet. There you go. We got it. Okay. And now uh, we will keep betting on the N1 since N1 uh, is, is the uh, the derived pattern or the you know the transition pattern. So player is next. There we go. And, oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. That's right. <coughs> All right. So we got uh, two wins, and uh, and then uh, in this in the transition pattern, when you have two wins, you need to skip the third. That's it. I mean, not the third. Sorry, you need to you need to skip the rest um, until the next uh, confirmation starts. There you go. So we skip that. Okay, um, and then now we are waiting for the next confirmation, either once or twos. So in this strategy, now it's confirmed you are looking for two confirmations. One is N2 and the other one is N1. Now we're not placing any bets until we see the confirmation. Actually, you know, opposite bet on the player on the back was the right, right decision because it is an N2 dominant. So N2 dominant shoe, you, you could, I should have placed opposite bet on the, uh, the second player, which is the banker here. There you go. So that's a strong confirmation on the N2. So we will be placing a bet on the player. So far, we have uh, won three units with zero loss. Okay, we won that. All right, so now we have four units win. And then now we're going to wait for the player to come down to place the opposite bet. Okay, we haven't placed a bet. So now we are waiting for the, the second pattern confirmation, which is the player. Now we're shifting our focus to N1. Remember, the rule of Markov chain is N2 usually shifts to N1. So you are not looking for a confirmation on N3 or N4. You are looking for a confirmation for N1 in case if the uh, input pattern was N2. Okay, now here it came down. So now we can go ahead and place a bet on the player because this is N2 confirmation.
There we go. We won. So, so far we won five units. Okay. And now we are waiting for the next confirmation. So the next confirmation would be either <clears throat> two drop downs or N1, either one of them, because this is because the pattern started with N2, and the transition uh, we are looking for is N1, and N1 transition did take place and is confirmed. Therefore, you have to look for two confirmations, either N2 or N1. Okay, the confirmation is now on N2, so you have to place a bet on the player. There you go. We got it. Okay, so that's our six unit win back to back. Amazing, amazing strategy. This is called Markov chain distribution strategy. And uh, it's based on probability of transition from one pattern to another, but the transition of patterns are fixed. N2 usually goes to N1, N1 usually goes to N, uh, N2, N3 usually goes to N2. And N4 plus usually goes to N3. That, those are the patterns, transition, you are looking for the confirmations for. Okay, now another confirmation. We will go for uh, last bet on the banker. And another rules, guys, is risk management. Always play only two-thirds of the shoe and always avoid the last one-third of the shoe for risk management purposes. Now we're looking for a banker. If we win, we quit. There you go. We won, guys. That's our eight units bet. Uh, eight units win. Eighty percent more than good enough. I don't think we need uh, to do any uh, what do you call that uh, trailing stop. I think we are good enough. This is called Markov chain distribution strategy. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll try to do uh, explain the math behind this strategy in my next video if I have time because uh, soon tomorrow. I think we are we're starting the uh, the ten thousand dollar challenge, and I'll see if I have time to explain the math behind this strategy, Markov chain distribution strategy. And by the way, this uh, you know these probabilities can work on any gambling games, not just baccarat. Uh, but you have to design it right. Okay, you have to design it right. It can be done on blackjack. It can be done on roulette. It can be done on different uh, gambling games. Anyhow, so if you liked it, guys, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we, I'll see you guys in our next video. Cheers.